To me, marketing is just human reactions, period. End of discussion. We don't do ads. We do human reactions. We achieve them through ads. I don't even make phone calls. I create human reactions. I do it on the phone. The fact of the matter is everything I do, no different than this moment right now, if I don't create reactions, I fail, period, and so do you. So it's a way of life. You study every facial expression, every inflection in voices, everything to manipulate you for me to get your check. Now, I have no guilt doing that because I know when you give me your check, I'm going to come through for you in the end. That's the trick. When you know you're doing right, you can fight harder. You got to know you're doing right. You guys do right here. You're in a great company. I advertise on Google myself. But you know, I've learned that if an ad doesn't create a reaction, it's worthless. And where we blow it in that business is when we b take advertising dollars from a client and place an ad that we know is not going to get a reaction, that we know is going to fail. We don't serve them. We don't get a renewal. We don't serve our face, ourselves, and our company. So at the end of the result, if you guys have to create reactions from the advertising that you do, or you're never going to grow that business. So you're as much in a reaction business as I am. Right. Very cool. And so, you know, a lot of us, we love, uh, you know, the parts of the show when you really dig deep into the science, you know, behind the bar, the yeah. science of everything that you do. And it's all to, you know, increase workplace efficiency and whatnot. And, you know, Google prides itself on trying to do the same thing. So, yeah. like, what are, what are some of, the, you know, the sciences you've learned to optimize for workplace efficiency? Well, you know, there's a lot of things to it. Uh, and I want to uh, reiterate the question that you asked me before, because you asked me about social marketing, and I didn't mention it. You know, social marketing is a big word today, and everybody does it. But who does it well? Not too many. It's a new science. We're still figuring it out ourselves. I mean, just because I have, you know, 100,000 Twitter followers, how do I monetize that? How do I motivate these people? What is it? Is it an event? Is it a discount? I mean, what is it that causes people to, and I'm going to use my word, react to my social marketing? No reaction, no dollars. No reaction, no win. So where people blow it is they go through the mechanics of social marketing. They go through the mechanics of advertising, but they never really focus on where are the reactions, where are the reactions. And here's the way I say it, and I'm trying to be short. You know, in the real world, when you, a big company goes to an ad agency, and the ad agency provides all the creative. If you like the creative, you buy the advertising. If you don't like the creative, you don't buy the advertising. Bar business, opposite. We buy the advertising with no creative. And then at the last minute, we get a phone call, oh, I need your copy, oh, oh. And so the fact of the matter is, we go at it in a mechanical way. And that's what you can't do. You've got to make certain that those reactions are created. The words, the phrasing, the fonts, the color, the positioning, these are subliminals that will either cause somebody to click through or not. And you are a point of difference. You guys stand alone. You're the shining star in this business. Nobody lights a candle to you. Bing? Come on. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, now because you are perceived as so good at what you do, so big, the bar is high, isn't it? Now I expect more from you. Which means as we get bigger and better and our reputation grows, we've got to deliver stronger. So the problem with social marketing is an absence of creative generally. It's become more mechanical, more logistical, very uncreative. And some of it is because it's in real time. You know, newspaper ads, you plan a month ahead of time, two months ahead of time, you work on your copy work. Social marketing, I come up with it today, I put it online in 10 minutes. There is no planning. And the real time nature of it sometimes works against us. And then here's the, the ultimate kicker. When I hit you with social marketing three or four times in a row and blow it, you're going to delete me every time from then on. I'll never get you back. So we only have one shot, I believe, in social marketing. Either we engage the audience, either we connect with the audience, or we alienate the audience, and we will never connect with them after that. And that's what my experiences are.